I'm Eugene with Diacon. I wanted to spend a few minutes and give you an overview of the Diacon weather stations, the sensor capability and the options. These are designed specifically for weather users or private weather users that can be set up in uh, your own environment to gather information about your farm, your industry, and the circumstances uh, where you work. The weather station itself is uh, fairly basic. It's composed of uh, several elements. We have the control module, which includes uh, data logging, embedded cell phone, this particular station we have set up is the MS-150 configuration, which includes solar panel, rain gauge, in addition to the standard components of uh, air temperature, pressure, and humidity tester. And up at the top of the mast, we have our wind sensor. The most prominent feature of the Diacon weather station is at the top of the mast, and that is our wind sensor. The wind sensor combines both the wind vane and the three-cup anemometer. The mechanical movement utilizes ceramic hybrid bearings for a very long life in uh, harsh environments. We also have a non-contact direction sensor for the wind vane. Unlike other sensors which use a potentiometer and have wiper contacts that eventually wear out, the non-contact sensor ensures a long product life. The second standard sensor for Diacon Weather Station is a temperature, pressure, and humidity sensor. This is reported directly to the control module and it uh, utilizes uh, high accuracy sensing elements. There are several sensors that are optional for the Diacon weather stations. One of these is a photodiode pyranometer. This device records the intensity of solar light hitting the surface of the earth. This can be useful when you're trying to create some evapotranspiration figures or to model solar intensity for solar power stations. A rain gauge is a common feature of automatic weather stations. This is a tipping bucket rain gauge for the Diacon weather stations. It's mounted on a leveling plate and uh, it can be mounted either on a horizontal pipe or on a vertical mast such as we have here. Two other options that are common for users are sensors that are planted in the ground. One of them is a soil moisture sensor, the other one is soil temperature. This particular station is equipped with a soil temperature probe and that, along with all the other sensor elements, is reported to Weather Underground and is available through the text message interface. The key to the whole weather station system is what we call the control module. The control module receives all of the inputs from the sensors as well as the solar panel. Inside here we have a single circuit board that integrates all of the inputs as well as a solar charge controller. It also includes a cell phone which is used for uploading data to Weather Underground as well as transmitting the text message weather reports. The control module includes lightning detection as well as flash memory for data logging capability. The user interface is very easy to set up. As the device is shipped, it's pre-configured and should be easy for any user to plug and play. Alternatively, it can be configured with the LCD on the control module or a USB port for a PC utility. The Diacon weather stations are mounted on a Diacon field tripod. This is an aluminum structure it is a modular construction, so each of the leg segments is interchangeable, as well as the mass segments are interchangeable. It's a toolless setup except for the guy line clips. It can be set up quickly in the field and broken down. It's lightweight aluminum, so it's uh, very portable and can be carried in the field where necessary. The advantage of the modular legs is that they can be reconfigured in the field to meet the needs of the installation. If you have an equipment failure, the segments can be swapped out. Um, if you have to do uh, repairs, then you have fewer components you need to take in the field to service the equipment. So that's an introduction to the Diacon weather station. We have more information on our website, including videos and manuals. Feel free to visit the website and check it out. And give us a call if you have any questions.